Shit, at last I check, I got a motherfucking ex right now coming out under some unethical shit that motherfucker done done 25 in for. You know what I mean? Coming out. This motherfucker's coming out. Girls, this motherfucker's is getting out. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, y'all. I was, yeah. That's a whole nother motherfucking topic. But, yeah, high school, you know. I was talking to this motherfucker before I had met my husband. Met him in high school. And, um, you know, that's why I didn't go to the prom because my parents didn't approve. You know what I'm saying? The one I was really wanting to fuck with in high school, he ended up leaving, you know, mid-year. And he went back to Los Angeles. And so, you know, that's how our bond was broken. But though we still kept in touch, but that closeness that we had in the 12th grade, you know, it just kind of, it fell off because um, him, his mom, and his brother had moved back to L.A. But then I ended up with this other cuckoo nut in the 12th grade. And my parents was like, oh, hell motherfucking no. You ain't doing this in no way, shape, form. You know what I mean? But you want what you can't have. You know what I mean? You want what the fuck you can't have. You know, and I remember one time that motherfucker pulled my hair. I didn't know what the fuck that was. I was like, damn, nigga, was that abuse? But now that I'm getting older, now I'm looking back at my life now on different things that transpired. Not all at one time. I'm talking about things that just happened throughout the course of my life. So please, you can't tell my story better than me. So don't just try to dissect and put all my shit together and put this shit on one motherfucker. When that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to clear my own space. My own mental space. And moving out shit that no longer serves me. Okay? This is not about trying to downgrade a motherfucker, make a motherfucker feel a certain type of way. I'm trying to uplift a motherfucker and give him, be a vessel for a motherfucker to get up and get over the shit they going through. So please, don't get it misconstrued and come, conscrewed and come into this motherfucker. Oh, was well, she trying to talk about so-and-so? Because I ain't talking about not a nail motherfucking soul. And every nigga that I'm talking about know what the fuck they did. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about the niggas in my life, the men. The men that I have fucked with. The men that I have dated, married, been in relationships with kicked it with or whatever the case, whatever. I'm talking about the men of my motherfucking life. You know, they got me where I'm at right now. So, a lot of the things that I talk about to you girls <clears throat> is, you know, the experiences that I've gone through. This is the shit that I done went through. I done been with the haves and have-nots of niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Hell yeah, Coke 45 motherfuckers to goddamn pure smoking cocaine motherfuckers. Okay? Yeah. So, you know, I have met and have dated and have been in the company and have been adored and adorned and loved and embraced and made love to and had my pussy licked on by some of the coldest in the motherfucking game. Yes. Oh, my God. When I, have tell, when I tell you, girls, I have lived. I have lived. Oh, my God. I have lived. And now that I'm 45, about to be 46 motherfucking years old, baby, all three of my kids got a job, and all, I ain't going to have but one motherfucking dependent in a minute. God damn, I'm having fun. You know what I'm saying? So don't get it, don't get it fucked up nor twisted. Shaken nor stirred, okay? Yesterday I was in my goddamn feelings, but it's a brand new motherfucking day day. Okay? It's a brand new motherfucking day. Let's not get it fucked up. Yeah. But, uh... Yes, uh, wow, the stories of my life have really, you know, my battle scars run real deep. I done had motherfuckers really say some really crazy shit to me. You know what I mean? And I, like I was saying, I think, <coughs> because when I'm trying to do more or do better, it's like, you know what, I really don't want you on that motherfucking level. Now, I come back down a few notches, you know, and... You know, I just, it gets in my head. And it has gotten in my head. And it's like, you know what, nigga? Nigga, it's retrograde. It's full moons and all this old type of motherfucking shit going on. New moon and all this old type of shit. What? Um, it's time to get rid of some bullshit. Some clutter and some mental space in my life and in my motherfucking head that no longer serves me. It's like this shit is in the way and it's taking me away from course, my purpose, and off my path. I'm like, I'm sick of this. No more of this. I don't want to date certain type of men anymore. I don't want to deal with certain type of motherfucking issues no more. I'm done with that. You're not going to talk to me any kind of motherfucking way. 
You're not going to shift my motherfucking wigs and, 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 and pull my motherfucking hair. You're not going to talk me out of my clothes and up under these motherfuckers, baby. I got scars all over my motherfucking body. I'm a thundercat, okay? I'm a thundercat. I was once over 300 and motherfucking, 340 motherfucking pounds, okay? I'm 175 now. What the fuck you gonna do with all that loose skin, baby? I had to have shit pulled, tucked, pulled up, this and that, twisted out, turned around. Yeah, I had to have it. You know what I'm saying? I had to have it. So then, therefore, what the fuck I'm gonna do? I'm scarred up. Any any motherfucker that deals with me is gonna have to know this. You okay? Ain't no Photoshop here, baby. This is how my shit look like. This is what the fuck my shit look like. This is what is happening right now. I don't know if you can see it, but it don't matter to me. But this is what's happening. This is what I'm. This is what it is. But I have had men. In my life that have tried to use that against me and use that as a thorn or something to poke at me with. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you you got a discard and you this right here. I mean, y'all don't understand. I done had it. I done had motherfuckers talk real crazy to my motherfucking ass. I done had verbal exchanges that have been really, really crazy. Absolutely nuts. And I'm crazy as a motherfucker for arguing with these, with these thawed off lunatic ass motherfuckers. You know, so, you know, it has brought me here. But it's like, wow. And I never really wanted to talk about this type of stuff. I never really wanted to talk about it. But now that I'm getting to a pivotal point, like, wait a minute, hold on. How long am I going to go through this motherfucking bullshit right here carrying this shit around? Am I going to let these motherfucking bags and somebody else done said, bag lady, you're going to hurt your back. Okay? Dragging all them bags like that. Yeah, uh-uh. I don't think nobody ever told you. What? Huh? Yeah. I had to let all this motherfucking shit go. Call me whatever. I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about the men that I have, you know, been with. Especially when I tell a motherfucker I don't want to be with you no more. I don't want to be with you no more. I done, I done been through all that I done been through with you. I done tried to help and tried to comfort, nurture, and all this. Inspire. And your motherfucking ass still want to do what you want to do, nigga? What am I supposed to do? For real? Okay, nigga. Uh, the rehab shit is over with. I can't rehab your ass no more. I don't know what else to do, nigga. It's called goodbye. I tried. I done every motherfucking thing I, I, I could do. Now what? But you now you want to start talking crazy? Man. <gasps> girls, I done had motherfuckers talk real crazy, you know? And, you know, and then to um, use my own shit against me. Oh, remember when you did so and so and so and so and so? I'm like, wait a minute, motherfucker. Are you trying to use my own shit that I tell you about me or things that I have done in my life? You're going to use my own shit against me. Yes, I done had that shit too. That shit is over with too. You know, girls, let me tell you something. <clears throat> um, Please. Please, I'm telling you, if nothing else I say make no goddamn sense to you, okay? Because I know that it's hard because it was hard for me. It was hard for me to riddle myself and get away from that type of mental and verbal abuse. It's hard to get away from because these very people will turn around and tell you how much they love you, how much they adore you, need you, want you, can't live without you, all that old type of shit, draw you the fuck back in. And then when something don't go right or a trigger or something, and then now these motherfuckers want to start talking crazy all over goddamn again. But want you to, you know, act like this shit never happened and turn around and give them some pussy after that. Nigga, how that's going to work? First of all, you done pissed me off. You done talked all this motherfucking bullshit because your motherfucking ass done had a fucked up ass day. But then now you want me to act like you ain't said shit to me out of compliance. And now I'm supposed to roll out the motherfucking pussy on a platter on a motherfucking platinum status? Nigga, no. It don't work like that. It don't and you want me to suck your dick to go with it? Nah, nigga, it ain't see nah. Now you asking for too many motherfucking benefits. You know what I mean? Now you asking for you want to ask and all that nigga. Now you asking for way too many motherfucking perks right now. You know what I mean? You asking for shit that the black card get, nigga. You're asking for too many motherfucking things when you're doing too many goddamn things wrong. No, partner. No. No. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. And if the bitches that you're accustomed to are used to that shit and they roll with it, then them the motherfucking ones you need to reconnect with because uh, I can't do all that. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep up with that bullshit. 
I don't, listen. Then I had, in my past, a motherfucker come comparing me to the other bitches that you used to fucking with. Nigga, why is you? Oh, well, my ex-wife, she used to wear matching panties and bras every day. Nigga, what, hey, that, what the fuck that got to do with me? Nigga, I don't wear no goddamn panties. Let's be crystal clear. So then, therefore, look, check this out. And I only wear black-ass bras, holla. Black-ass bras, holla. Black-ass bras, holla. Ow! Black-ass bras, holla. I don't wear no panties. But this motherfucker right here had me all in the goddamn stove. Uh, talking about, um, uh, I mean, if we had to ask the lady. I had to get the lady in on it because this motherfucker is just going back and forth about, you know, it's unladylike, it's um, this and this and this. A woman is supposed to wear matching bra and panties every day. Every day. I said, you know what? You shut your ass up. You sound crazy to me, motherfucker. Where in the fuck they doing that shit at every day? I don't know about that shit, nigga. That's some dictatorship. I don't know. I ain't gonna be able to do it. If she did that for your motherfucking ass every day, nigga, you should have never, never let that motherfucker go, nigga, because you had you one. Because I'm not knowing too many motherfuckers that's rolling this same motherfucking boat every day. Shit. Well, <laughs> needless to say, me and that motherfucker don't talk no goddamn mo. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, if I have met some, oh my God. Mm. That's why I know God is getting, truly getting me set up for something so incredibly motherfucking special in my life. I am getting set up for something so motherfucking magnificent and royal and grand and abundant and unprecedented. I'm just so excited. I'm just burning on the inside. So I know that I'm going through this ob these obstacle courses and all of these demons from my past and all these devils and demons and evil spirits and shit that tried to take me off course and try to, you know, take me, you know, Control my mind and my body and all this other stuff. Man, I done had some motherfuckers tell me all kinds of shit to my face. Um, look, that don't look right. Take that motherfucking shit off. Uh, throw them goddamn shoes away, too, because them motherfuckers are some bullshit. Um, yeah. Uh, all that right there? Nah, we're gonna need to change all that up. Yes! Yes! Yes, girls! Yes! I know it's kind of funny now, but it was like, man, did this motherfucker just tell me all this right here? Nigga, I was in disbelief. I was told that motherfucking shit. I was like, damn. Okay, then, uh, nigga, uh, well, uh, let me rethink this thing then. I was so motherfucking thrown out. I was just tripping off in disbelief that this motherfucker even had the God, the gall to say that motherfucking shit to me. Nigga, I was about to say the audacity. You know what I mean? To say this motherfucking shit to me. Yes, yes, yes. When I meet certain men, sometimes they want to, they, I don't know if they watch my, watch my platform and like, okay, but let me just take this bitch down a couple of notches. You know, let me, let me, let, let's, let, let, let me get drunk and tell this bitch what I really want to tell her motherfucking ass. You know, let, let, let me, oh my God, and I have had a couple in my past that, yeah, a couple in my past that have really rubbed me raw in a mental type of motherfucking way. And I never said anything onto this platform, okay? Now, I've had some men that have been so good to me, very, very sweet, loving to me. I've had men, I have, I've had men in my life that, you know, it ain't even about sex. We just, it's just some companionship, nigga. We, let's just go out and just have a good time. Can I just sit across the table with your motherfucking ass and have seven course meals, baby? Yes. And they don't know, they, they, they don't know nothing about my motherfucking pussy. Nothing like that. And we just cool with friends. Mr. Balibu was having my baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he's one of them. It's like, baby, I got partners that, you know, a range of men. All type of respect levels. I can say that now. All type of motherfucking respect levels. You know, and it's like, you know, I have to say that, man, whew. But one thing about it, I have to say, ladies, please, every man that you meet, you don't have to sleep with them motherfuckers. 
Getting to know somebody don't mean that, nigga, you breaking off pussy at the end of the night. It don't mean that, okay? Now, auntie ain't one to be on this old, you know, timetable, six months, nine months, 32 days. I am one of them motherfuckers, okay? I am on comfort level and comfort zone. If I feel comfortable, you know what, nigga, shit. Uh, them look like motherfucking sat teams right there, nigga. Uh, what we doing right now? You know what I mean? Shit. You know, especially if I'm in a compound of a relationship with you. You know, I'm real kind of sexual like that in, in the compounds of a relationship. But if I'm just knowing you or whatever, a woman knows straight off the bat on whether or not she want to fuck with you in a certain type of way or not. I mean, we automatically know it. I mean, I know I do. I'm like, okay, you know, uh, damn, this is some bullshit. I can't even believe I done wasted my motherfucking time and had good hair, too, on this motherfucker right here. Nigga, this is some bullshit. You know? Yeah. And then, like, you meet, like, 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 like my baby... You know, it was like, man, I was, I was, I was, it was a little awkward <laughs> when I first met him a little bit, but I, but after a few hours, though, I was like, you know what, something just hit me, it was like, I don't know what it was that was said or whatever, it was like, oh yeah, we, yeah, we good, I can do this, I can do this, we good, you know what I mean? But it's just something, it, it could be just something small that's said, it could be uh, a gesture or just an aura, you know what I mean? The chemistry, the energy can just take you certain places. So I'm not hooked on all that. I'm so I'm on comfort levels, comfort zones. If it feel right, go that way. Shit. If it don't feel right, nigga, why are you going that way? You going the wrong way. That means you're going the wrong way in your path. Don't go that way. If it feel good, that's the way you're supposed to be going. If everything is just blossoming and everything is going as planned and everything is flourishing and in technicolor and you're feeling good and looking good and all that old type of shit and balanced, you're going the right way. But if you feeling apprehensive and anxious and sad and sorrow and beat down and beat up and throw to the left and all that shit and imbalance, you're going the wrong way. That ain't for you. That's the wrong shit. It's disruptive to your chi. No, 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 no. It's like your body saying, warning, 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 warning. You're going the wrong way. Warning, 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 warning. You feel me? So, and I've had those uh, light bulb moments and ahas a lot. You know what I mean? Knowing I'm going the wrong motherfucking way. But sometimes it feels so goddamn good. You know, because in the minute this motherfucker's going to say sorry, it's going to feel good after that. Nigga, the only thing I can think of now, when I was thinking about those instances, and it was like that motherfucking song, Love on the Brain. Did that bitch say, did, did listen, I ain't never really fucked with Rihanna like that. You know what I mean? I ain't never really fucked with Rihanna like that because, you know what I'm saying? I I just, you know, nigga, uh, I'm still on some Janet Jackson shit, nigga. I'm in that era, so I don't really know, you know, so much about her albums or whatever. I don't really, you know, it's out of my, you know, out of my class or whatever, of age, age group or whatever. But, man, that motherfucking love on the brain, that motherfucker said, and he, Fuck me, don't that, that, Man, hey, I don't know the words. But I can't get enough, huh? Must be love on the brain. Oh, my God, I done been there. Oh, my God, love on the brain. Nigga, that's part of my motherfucking soundtrack. Why you bullshitting? Huh? Nigga, that's part of my motherfucking soundtrack. It's like, man, nigga, I done been there. Oh, my God. When I heard that shit, I was like, oh, shit. Nigga, I need that in my car. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I know it's probably old or whatever. I know y'all motherfuckers is like, nigga, uh, nigga, that is yesteryear. Like, I'm like, okay, it's probably, it. I don't know. But I'm just getting on. And it took me a time or two luck. Motherfucker, that nigga took me back. I was like, oh, my God. Nigga, I've been there before. Oh, my God. Nigga, how you doing today? Shit, how you been? How your mama doing? Yeah. So, anyway. But, um. Uh, but, yeah, girl, so. I just have to clear out this mental, um, this, this mental space, you know, and clear the things that just does not serve me anymore. Stop acknowledging the bullshit, you know what I mean? I'm talking to myself right now. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to me like a motherfucker on what I need to do. You know, stop giving some bullshit, some energy, you know what I mean? 
Um, so, wow, this retrograde is kind of crazy, you know, so I don't know where it's taking us to, but shit, nigga, I'm ready to go. I'm going for the ride, Father God, look. I'm I'm ready. Look, I had to re I had to regroup. I had to reboot up. You know what I'm saying? I had to get me one. You know what I mean? Got me one last night, nigga. Motherfucker rejuvenated like a motherfucker. Motherfucker ready to get what we doing? 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 I guess that's all I needed. What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? I that's it. I guess that's all I needed. I didn't get no kiss good night, no embrace, no kiss on the back of the neck, or none of that type of shit. But guess what? Motherfucker get feel good. Okay, I needed that one. Needed it. Okay. So, at any rate, it is going on 9 o'clock. It is 8.57 in the a.m. So, I'm going to go ahead on and go. Um, we're going to do a video a day in May. Every day we're going to post something. I don't give a goddamn if it's from my goddamn phone. Phone, iPad. Uh, she iPod broke, baby, broke it. You owe me another motherfucking iPod. You know that shit, too. You know that motherfucking shit. I mean, what's right is motherfucking right, okay? We ain't never really talked about that shit, but uh, just on some side note shit, since I'm just happening to think about it, <clears throat> you broke my motherfucking iPod, and yeah, I shouldn't even have to say nothing, but I guess the spirit just moved me to say, uh, come on, I, bring that on out your mouth, too, while you're saying shit, yeah. So I just had to go ahead on and say <laughs> So, anyways, uh... To my twin. Um, right now we got some sage um, going in my diffuser right here. I don't have an instant burning, but I am going to put power in. I don't know what all power is infused with. 